with you. Then we're going to check in with Sarah. Then we're going to go, go to to Sarah. And then we're going to in with Lowry. Okay? Okay. Got it. <laughs> Is Tristan there? Does Tristan want to say hello? We're recording, so if he's going to jump well, in. I'll say hello. He's, he's uh, managing the, he's well, wrangling the animals. Well, put the dog in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a bird or something, so he's barking. Okay. I told you as soon as we started. Right. Oh, you know, please. I'm a, I think we're all animal lovers here. Okay. So, everybody, welcome to Disabilities Redefined with Dr. Wagner. I am Dr. Truett Wagner, and I am with the people who I love to be with. I am with Fanny. Fanny Pierce. Hello, Fanny. How are you? The reigning Miss hey, Wheelchair hey, USA. I am wonderful. <laughs> I'm with my partner in crime, Phaedra Creed. Hey, Phaedra. Can't wait hey, to see Karen. you in a few months. Phaedra. Uh, yeah, Fanny is the reigning Miss Wheelchair USA. Phaedra is Miss Wheelchair USA 2010 and the current Miss Wheelchair International, which was crowned in 2022, but you're still the reigning crown if I, you still have the crown if i understanding it correctly at the yes, bottom that's correct. uh at the bottom there miss wheelchair uh washington usa sarah thompson which our audience will recognize with that beautiful uh photo shoot we did um when was that sarah a year and a half two years ago or so um, yes. Yes, we need. Time to, is flying too quickly. <laughs> we need to do another. <laughs> but Sarah has a great history, as we all do, with Miss Wheelchair USA. She was Miss Wheelchair Washington USA. What year was it, sweetheart? I I, I, I was Miss Wheelchair Pacific Coast USA okay. 2021 and 2020, and then Miss Wheelchair Washington USA in okay. 2022. Two. Great. And, and I'm lovely. Uh, have the lovely opportunity to be a Miss Wiltshire USA ambassador now. Okay. But now let's also don't overlook, now you were second runner-up to Miss Wheelchair USA in 2021, and then in 2022 you were first runner-up to Miss Wheelchair yes. USA. And the gorgeous lady up at the top, Dr. Lowry Lockhart, is everybody's favorite, and she has a, a great uh, uh, history herself in pageantry with Miss America, and she formed Miss Wheelchair USA and has brought it to a level of uh, national and international recognition. And uh, we thank you so much, Lowry. But we're not going to start with you tonight. Okay? Oh. So, <laughs> uh, Fanny, what's the year been like? What's going on? Well, <clears throat> so far, it's been amazing, I shall say. Um, all smiles over here. No complaints. I've been able to meet wonderful people. I've been able to inspire people. I've been inspired. And um, it actually just feel like it's the beginning, to be honest. Um, there's more to come, but so far the year has been great. You know, I know you're very big on violence, anti-violence, anti-gun control, all of that. Was there, was, was there something that you are now into that you didn't start the year with? Uh, is there any new thing that you would like to share with the audience? Um, yeah. That's a wonderful question. Um, recently, um, I embarked on a journey of trauma-informed care education. And um, I've been spreading knowledge about um, coping. Of course, that's what my platform would empower in lives and build a more effective leaders. But I've also been able to speak with individuals that's affected with trauma on a different level that they really even speak about within the public eye. Um, and it's been drawn to a more educational approach. And lately, that has been the hot topic. So I'm pretty excited about that because uh, I've been working with adults with this, but uh, in the upcoming weeks, I'm looking forward to work with children in regarding this. So yes, trauma-informed education has been a hot topic lately, and I'm very grateful to be able to be in this position to even speak with individuals about it. Wow, that's wonderful. Wow, okay. Thank you very much. And uh, I am looking forward to seeing you uh, in a few months as well. And I love what you just said. You said that you felt like it was just the beginning. and But yet in a few months, you know, you're going to have to go on stage and crown someone else. So what oh, is, yeah. what are you, are you preparing yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going uh, to go there on that one. What, what are you going to do? Glue it to the top of your head or sling it across the stage? <laughs> I mean, I, I, if I can, I can hold on to it, you know, but it's, it's only right that I do pass it on to the next uh, woman that is enduring her platform as well. 
Um, I look forward to it. I'm inspired by the ladies that's already on uh, contestants right now. And I look forward to meeting everybody uh, this upcoming July. That's wonderful. Wonderful. Well, we think you're great. And I'm happy to see you again. We had a great interview. Do you remember the last time I saw you? I was so sick. I could not. Yes. <laughs> you pushed through. That's what I call a soldier. Like, yeah. We had a great conversation. Sick. And though. I'm proud of you. Yes. yes it's been it a while, was, though. Yes, it was good. It was a great episode. It did quite well here, too, in New York. So it was wonderful. I do want to plug this show. We, we're we on YouTube, but it, we're also seen in New York City. So uh, okay. it, 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 it did, did very well. Phaedra, what is going on, my sweetheart? What's going Girl, on? I cannot wait to see you. Coming up soon. Yes, well, <laughs> tell everybody what we do. I'm going to let you tell that. Oh, that's fabulous. I am so excited because I think the most important thing that we do is we really get to know the contestants. Yes. To be able to meet them, to be able to talk to them, to be able to work with them, and really to interview them and to be able to talk about their platforms, their projects they've been working on, sponsorship, their ads, their future goals. I mean, it's so exciting to be able to be in the positions that we are in for that red carpet show. Yes. And what, what, I'll tell you what I really, you know, Farrah, I never really thought about it that way. We really get to see the contestants in a way we no do. one else does. Mm -hmm. We do. We get to spend behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Yes. Them. Behind the scenes. Yeah. For those of you, uh, keep in touch, and we'll promote this like crazy from now going forward, but pay-per-view, wherever it is seen, it's always aired, but we do a back behind the scenes, and we see the, the, the contestants when they come right off the stage. And I never thought about it that way before. We really get to see them at a moment where most people don't. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the best part of the program, I think, in our opinion. <laughs> yes, it is for me, I tell you. <laughs> really get to know them the best and we get to see that look of everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> well Phaedra you and Fanny uh, and you too Sarah and well you too Lowry you were a beauty queen too at one time but I'm just want to ask before we move on what is it like to win you know because see you won and you're still you won in in 2010 and we are in 2024 and you are still mm -hmm. such a visible easily recognizable member of the Miss Wheelchair USA family. I remember we went to, what was the sponsor, the ice cream, and everybody wanted to talk to Phaedra. Where were we? Uh, where were we? <laughs> we were in Ohio somewhere. We were in, yeah, think, yeah, but. I think you were at Pav's Creamery. Pa yes, we yes. Were. And that's it. Phaedra, yes. Phaedra was, people still recognize Phaedra. So what is it like to win, and what's it like going into that year? It's. You know, I don't care how many times that you get on that stage. You still have those butterflies in your stomach, and you're still all excited every time you get out there. But it's it's so humbling, and it's so honorable to be able to be part of this amazing program and to be able to um, have that opportunity to be able to share and educate that women in wheelchairs, y'all, we are still sexy, and we are still beautiful, and we are a lot of fun. <laughs> And it's just great to be able to have that opportunity to continue to educate and to be able to support and love each other and to be able to build each other up and to have an amazing team like Lowry and her team to be able to be there to support us and to be able to help guide us through that. It's just absolutely amazing. Fanny, uh, I'm, I'm, I keep calling you Fanny. Fanny, we've been through this before. Just for the audience, your real name is Franchon. Franchon? Franchon? Fashion, yes. Fashion, fashion, but we all call you Fanny. Uh, will you want to mm -hmm. add anything to that? Um, Phaedra, you did awesome with that speech because I agree everything what you said. Um, no matter how many times you get on the stage, you're still going to have butterflies. The winning is awesome. Don't get me wrong. How does it feel to win? It's a victory. It's shocking um, because it's it's surreal in a moment where you. You're moving so fast, and then it's like, oh, you won. It's like, wait, I did? Wait a minute. You're shocked. So oh, it's overwhelming and exciting at the same time. Yeah. And it also brings an amazing experience with different people. Once again, that's a support system overall for your life. Yes. And um, it goes a long way. So mm -hmm. to just be connected means a lot to me. So yes. I, I agree with what you just said, Phaedra. Absolutely. Yeah. But for and we, you're rocking it, Fanny. You're yeah. doing a great job. We're so proud of how you represent us. She is a, 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 a great you. job, a, a, an amazing job. Uh, but I do want to say, 
Fanny, when Sarah, um, when uh, Phaedra said, we're still sexy, you put a little snap in there. So. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> that was great. Sarah, you look gorgeous as always. Oh, thank you. Now, now Sarah, uh, you have been on the show quite a few times already. Um, and, a, and a documentary of, uh, that we did here in New York. Um, what is it like for you? What, what is the press like? It's been such an incredible opportunity to be able to have this platform yes. that reaches out to so many different mediums of yes. social media, of press, of really creating awareness and advocacy. And what's been so incredible about uh, my experience in not only competing, but in being part of this this Wheelchair USA pageant community, is it really helped give me the confidence and just self-belief that I can be a professional member of society and a professional mm -hmm. person. And it's really catapulted my work with nonprofits and patient advocacy. It's given me even more of a passion in my heart to not only advocate for rare diseases and my own Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, but for all the spectrums of disability that I've been able to become more familiar with and knowledgeable about through this experience. So it's truly made me a better advocate uh, for, for not only myself, but truly for others. And I'm so proud and honored and privileged to represent this community in this way. And uh, it if it weren't for this community, I wouldn't have been uh, able to have such incredible opportunities recently. I was invited to the White House for the very first White House for Disease Forum, and I truly attribute so much of my public speaking experiences and community of this sisterhood to really helping me get there. I never dreamed that I would do that until I met Lowry and the Miss Wheelchair USA pageant family. Right. And uh, wow. certainly also appearing on this show because that has been incredible preparation. And well, it's just not just this show. You've been on numerous shows. And one thing I can say, you've never really shied away from the press. So what advice do you give up and coming beauty queens, whether they miss Wheelchair USA or not, about doing press? Oh, thank you. That's a really excellent question. I think what's so important about doing press is really sharing your story and using your voice. Your voice and experience is so valid and is so change-making to other people and can really open hearts and minds to think differently about if it's legislation or policy or especially the platforms of Miss Wheelchair USA. Safe travel and accessible parks and the concept of beauty and really using these tenants as uh, ways to not only get press out for these incredible, uh, uh, these, uh, pardon me, these areas of advocacy, but also being able to get the word out for Miss Wheelchair USA. Mm -hmm. Because if it weren't for Miss Wheelchair USA, I wouldn't have gained such a great confidence and skill set in being able to public speak and being able to do press in a way that's uh, informing, effective, and as straight to the point as I can be, although that's not my strength. So thank goodness <laughs> I've participated in this. That's great. That's great. Final question for you before we go to Lowry. What is your idea of beauty and glamour? Because you're very smart. You do a lot of educational uh, uh, appearance, well, speaking, academic speaking. I should know that, right? I work in higher ed. Why am I fumbling around with that word? You do a lot of, of <laughs> hello, Phaedra. Yeah. <laughs> but you do quite a bit of work in academia, higher ed. Um, but yet you have never shied away from saying that you also love putting on gowns and the jewels and being, uh, you know, a powder puff. I love this. I, I would love to share with you. So, so much of this experience in uh, 2020, my first application to Miss Wheelchair USA, I had just broken up with a pain management doctor who really judged me on how I looked appearance-wise. Uh, when I wore a dress to one of our appointments, even explaining that Troy and I were going on an anniversary dinner afterwards, he said, you can't possibly be in that much pain. And it, he, he really did a number on my self-esteem. And I self-edited a lot into wearing pajamas, into wearing robes, into not 
being my authentic, fashionable, pink, sparkly, loving self. And being able to participate in this pageant and program has helped me embrace that part of myself and also given me the confidence to where if I do run into someone who does judge me on my appearance and doesn't give me that validation or credibility, it doesn't weigh on me. It doesn't impact me because I know I have this community and sisterhood of people who do support me and understand. And that the more that I can contribute to creating more awareness for that, hopefully the easier it will be for everyone with invisible illnesses and disabilities to be their authentic selves and not feel judged by their appearance in terms of their health or well-being. Okay. Wow, thank you very much. Okay, so oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, they keep telling me to move over, but I don't want to because I can't see Lowry and Sarah if I do. And I don't think anybody's going to question to what I look like in the middle of you beautiful women. So I'm just going to sit where I am. It's okay. I'll just stay right there. <laughs> Lowry, I hear you got some great news for us. Uh, from well, first of all, great to see you as always. Uh, I love you as always, and it's I can't wait to see you there in in a few months. And um, I see you and Tristan are doing great. But uh, yes, um, what's new? You got some good news for us, I hear. There are so many exciting things happening. It's hard to keep track of everybody and everything. And um, next week. Fanny is um, coming here to Ohio and we have a crazy, crazy weekend of appearances and fashion shows and uh, we're being recognized at a, uh, it's called the Women's Positivity Conference. And um, so they actually came to us and uh, had followed, it was a lady that I modeled with um, years ago and she had followed myself in the journey in Miss Wiltshire USA and just was so um, interested. So when she started this conference, um, asked that we participate and we're actually going to be a beneficiary of um, some donations for that. So that's pretty exciting. We don't know how much, we don't know what, but it's, uh, I know it was really exciting. So it's, it's always um, exciting when people that don't um, live in the pageantry world or don't live in the disability world recognize what's happening and recognize the ladies and really want to meet them and hear their stories and um, it was interesting we had a conversation they're having a fashion show and she called and she goes I, I would really like Fanchon to be in the fashion show um, do you think she would like to do that and I thought it was an interesting question because um, what beauty queen doesn't want to be in a fashion show yeah. and what woman really doesn't want to be in a fashion show? I don't know. It's like, okay, well, I thought it was interesting. And I did ask her, I said, would you have asked that question? Um, if she didn't have, um, if she wasn't in a wheelchair and, and she said, you know, that's funny. I don't know. She goes, I just wondered if it was something she would be comfortable with. So I thought that was, it was a, it was a really interesting, um, teaching experience um, because it wasn't planned, obviously, and um, that fact that then she she answered and we had a great dialogue about, you know, that situation and how often that happens. Um, and the ladies that participate in this um, program, obviously, that's one of the things that they do is is kind of break those stereotypes and let people know that, yeah, they, they can do the same thing that any other women do. Um, and most of the time, that's what they want to do. So, um, so anyway, that, that conference is next weekend, and then uh, we're part of a, a disability resource fair on, on Saturday, and we're doing an April showers event on Sunday, so Fanny's going to be exhausted by the time she goes home from here next weekend. Um, so that's an exciting uh, weekend. One of the things that um, we're happy to announce is there's a um, magazine, it's a national magazine called Special Needs Living. It's a beautiful Vogue color glossy magazine. Um, that focuses on various things uh, regarding disabilities and tells uh, folks stories each each month. They have different stories. And um, we uh, actually got together um, and started talking about Miss Wheelchair USA and the Dane Foundation. And he was like, what can I do to help? And I said, you know, if you could put part of our program book in one of the magazines so folks could really see the ladies and hear some of the stories, that would be fantastic. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's not a big deal bonus. Um, we went back to meet with him and um, he brought the editor of the magazine and they're just telling me all the pages in this magazine that are going to be taken up and what day the photo shoot I, I next weekend. That's another thing that Fanny's doing is a photo shoot because she's going to be the cover story. Mm -hmm. And then I found out and acted like I knew this all along, but 
they oh. the entire magazine uh, for the month of July. It's a monthly publication is going to be about Miss Wheelchair USA. Oh wow! So it's really exciting. Give me goosebumps. Yeah. Um, because it just kind. He said, and I was afraid to even speak because I'm like, okay, if that's what I convinced him to do. Yay. But that wasn't the conversation that I thought we had had. So it was really exciting. And he said, you know what, we, we went back and we talked about it and there's just too much cool stuff and too many beautiful ladies and beautiful stories and things that are so important to share. And he goes, we can't do that in five or six pages. So the entire magazine in the month of July is going to be about Miss Wheelchair USA. And we're really excited to be partnering with um, Special Needs Living this year. It's a, it's a really um, wonderful honor, and it's great that they felt like they couldn't tell everybody's story in a few pages, that they needed a whole magazine. So that was that's an awesome thing. So we're really excited about that. Those are a couple of really exciting things. I have, like, pages of them I could share, but, you know, I suppose well, we should. That's pretty exciting if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's great. And, of course, you know, y'all will be there for the red carpet show. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we will be streaming that live on Facebook throughout the whole competition. And we will um, have a different avenue for our show to be broadcast, but we're in the contract process right now, so I can't tell you that either. Excellent. Um, but it will not be pay-per-view. It will be free viewing this year. Oh, wonderful. Um, of course, we will have donation times for people to be able to make donations and help us pay for all the things that we have to pay for to make it happen. So we're going to do that a little bit differently, too. So lots of really cool things happening. Um, amazing contestants, uh, as always. These ladies have um, been doing a great job. Um, everybody's new. We have two returning contestants, but everybody else is new to the program, so that's been exciting. And um, very diverse backgrounds and platforms. So I think the entire year is always exciting anyway, and a lot of fun and really educational and supportive, as, as they've all said. But um, I think this year's going to be really special. So we're really excited about it. Every year has always been incredibly special. Uh, I know it's always one of the highlights of my year. And um, I never see the show. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm always don't back either. with I don't yeah. either. People ask me that all the time. They're like, well, what did you think about this? And what do you think about that? And I said, well, I, I'm directing and producing. So I yes. have 5,000 people talking in my head. And I check the contestants, make sure they're good. And then we've moved on to the next thing. Like, did you see or did you hear? And I was like, yes. Nope, I have well, to go back and watch it. <laughs> yeah, we never see it either until the very end. And I'm always taking loads of photographs to use throughout the year whenever I'm interviewing uh, the, the runners up and to contest uh, the winner, w winners and runners up. And anybody else for that matter who's involved. But, you know, usually it's the winner and runners up. So we have a little under five minutes. And so that is perfect timing. Uh, quickly, starting with um, the reigning Miss Wheelchair USA, then Phaedra, Sarah, and then Lowry, quickly in a few minutes, um, any departing words you would like to say um, in these last four minutes? Fanny, go first. Yeah, Fanny. Um, um, I would just like to say um, I'm grateful, I'm honored, and um, more is to come. Like I said earlier, this is just the beginning. Um, Miss Larry, she has wonderful news that's ready for the world. All of us do, to be honest. Everyone, I believe 2024 and the yes, rest of the years to come are going to be amazing. And um, I just can't wait. Thank you. I just can't wait. Thank you. Phaedra? Come and join us. You know, <laughs> we're always looking. We're always ready for more participation, more participants, more states to be represented. So come on down. We'll take care of you. And um, you will have... A week to remember. Yes, that you is will. For sure. Mwah, love you, Phaedra. Sarah. Love you too. <laughs> Sarah. Miss Wheelchair USA is such a life changing experience. And more than that, you gain a community and a sisterhood and a network of incredible uh, other advocates and professionals and people who feel like family that you just haven't met yet. And Miss Wheelchair USA pageant family has really become my chosen family. And I'm so grateful to have that support because it's really catapulted me to living the best life that I can. And I'm so appreciative to Miss Wheelchair USA, Lowry and Patty. But more than anything, I in very much implore people to join us and to apply and to compete because 
it's so important to have that spectrum of disability there and to have as much representation as we can. I'd love to see all 50 states participating. Yeah. Okay, gorgeous. Uh, one minute, it's yours. Oh gosh, one minute, that's not very long. Um, <laughs> we're still taking contestants. Applications are open until May 1st. So if you're interested, uh, reach out to us, email or social media, and we'll get you involved very quickly. Um, we're still looking for sponsors, national sponsors to join us. Um, fashion folks, we're looking for them, obviously, to take part in our uh, fashionability events. Um, stay tuned for some exciting media things that we're going to be doing. Um, so we'll be making some announcements like that. And just, you know, come be involved. If you can't come to Ohio for the week um, as a contestant, come as a volunteer, um, come just to watch the show. Um, it's it's an amazing, professional, uh, big Big time production, and um, the ladies do a great job. Um, Jeremy Parsons will be back as our MC this year, and uh, so he's always um, fun and has great things to share with everybody. So, um, you know, mark that week. It's July 15th through the 21st. Our shows are the 19th and 20th, and uh, yeah, like Stranger said, come on down, join us. It's a great week. Well, that's it. I don't have anything to say except I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The little the little sign popped up, but I told them not to mess with it because we have uh, the conversation was so good. I didn't want to bother. Did you guys notice the little running out of time sign? Was it? Yeah, oh, but I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't I don't think anybody that. noticed because we were, we were so into the conversation. I mean, yeah, there you go. I love you guys. We're less than a minute. What can I say? It's always a pleasure. Fanny, you're doing a great job. I really uh, congratulations on everything. You look gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay.